All right, well, this is my iOS app development uh, series. We're going to call it uh, Session 1. And I think what we'll do is uh, end up making this kind of like the previous incarnation of um, uh, uh, what's essentially the same course, but uh, with new material. Uh, the past one was iPhone game development. It ended up being 18 hours. It was... Uh, six sessions long and that's kind of what I'm going for uh, with this one as well but uh, this is not just gonna be a rehash of all the same material taught a year or so later uh, I want to go through a lot of uh, different things and kind of broaden things out a little bit um, you can see from the title here this is called iPhone game development well at the time that I started recording this uh, the iPad uh, wasn't actually officially out yet people were thinking about it, rumoring about it. Uh, so about halfway through here, it did, it did come out. We started talking about it in the course, but I never went back through and <laughs> retitled this iPhone and iPad game development. Uh, this time around, we're going to be a little bit more broad. It's easy iOS, and then we're calling this app development. And one reason is because even though we will end up making some games with this, um, one of the first things I want to make is a flipbook app because I've gotten so many emails about that. Uh, I know two people that have ebooks that I could throw in the store for them. So, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of where we'll begin. But I, I do want to point out that this course is still for sale. I'm not trying to upsell you guys on anything here. It's just that don't expect everything that was taught in this course to be retaught again, okay? Because there's things like this NS Picker View right here. There's a little screen grab of that. That, you know, it, it took maybe an hour, an hour and a half to teach. And I just don't want to teach that again because... I already went through it once, and um, that code is is still there. It's still good. In fact, there was many times this summer that I, I went and I opened up the example files from this course for games that I was making this past summer and um, use code from that because, you know, it's, this is kind of like a, a library for myself now. It's even weird to, like, have to list to myself teach me how to do things like this in-app purchasing, which I'd kind of forgotten. So, um, but that actually might be, uh, no, <laughs> we not say might. This will definitely be something that we reteach here in this, this new version. Um, it's just very specific things like that. I, I just kind of don't feel like going through. But um, what's also going to be a, a fun difference for anybody that did go and take this previous course is we're going to be using Cocos 2D um, for uh, a lot of the development, which is a... Uh, which is a game engine, or, or just kind of a whole different wrapper for, for coding, um, versus uh, this was just a lot of the out of the box Objective C or, or um, Coco um, language. So uh, we've got that to look forward to. And, and uh, if you are, uh, or if you've been learning with me for a long time, you've uh, maybe learned some Action Script. And I feel like Cocos 2D um, is, is a lot more similar to ActionScript, um, and it, um, it's a little bit more forgiving, I think, too. Uh, you, can, you can kind of um, make some simple mistakes, and it doesn't like, really throw you against the wall for them. So uh, that's kind of what's ahead. And then also, too, let's get you guys pumped up a little bit. Let's get some dollar signs in your eyes. Uh, I have um, kind of made a few games okay <laughs> and I, so I've tested out the store a little bit uh, let me tell you there's a um, there's a some amazing potential out there uh, both for just exposure for yourself or for making some consistent income and uh, I made this uh, this pinball game over the summer I just last week actually made it uh, free to kind of see well how many people download it uh, it's getting thousands of downloads every day uh, so consider that um, you know, that was just flipping a switch to make something free, and then all these people are downloading it. Uh, whereas, you know, it, in terms of Cartoon Smart, it took me many years to be able to get up to thousands of, of visitors without having to put advertising dollars into the site. So there's there's tons of exposure out there. If you, if you just have a free app, if you want to give it away, you know, people are going to download it. It's that simple. And, of course, uh, like this game, you know, you can always have a link back to... Uh, credit yourself as the developer, as the, the, the artist in the game, whatever it is, um, because you'd be kind of foolish not to, really. Um, you want to tell people that you exist. Uh, and then, of course, too, uh, make a game for a dollar. See how well it sells. Uh, this turned out to be a surprising success for me. Uh, I didn't know if, if people would kind of embrace using Google Maps as a, the underlayer for a game, and then the overlayer was this kind of airstrike game. But this turned out to be a, a, a nice uh, little winner for me. It, uh, I'll show you the actual stats on it. Uh, the game is called Zombie Airstrike, and you can see um, 
this is uh, the uh, these are the stats from that game. <laughs> I'm logged in, and uh, don't worry, these are not daily numbers. That would be nice if they were. These are weekly numbers. Uh, so from eight fourteen to eight twenty one, I guess this did one hundred and thirty two paid, uh, one twenty one the week before. This is oh well. It's weird. It's identical. Uh, 146, 107, and kind of has this little summer dip through here. But uh, keep in mind, Apple takes 30% of that. So I, I was left with 70% last week. So I, got, I made like $100. But I haven't worked on this uh, game in a year and a half to, to two years. It's been a while now, and it's still uh, doing those numbers. I'm not putting any advertising dollars into it. I mean, I do have a, a link up on the website here, but I think most of the – the people finding this game are just doing it through the App Store and um, downloading it that way. So it's nice to have that little bit of um, consistent income, four hundred dollars here, uh, four hundred there, and so on. Uh, eventually, adds up to um, maybe not the salary that you want, but but certainly could pay for a car or, or um, pay for your rent eventually. And you know what? You never know. You could be the next person that creates a game like uh, Angry Birds. So, um, cha-ching, that, wouldn't that be nice? Uh, anyway, I'm done introducing this thing. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. Let's actually get started here. I'll save this uh, video out as introduction, and uh, that way you can kind of skip forward to uh, the real stuff if you want to. All right, here we go.